Welcome back, my friends, to another episode of TFT Hyper Roll with Artark. Okay, here's the graphic. You know, like, comment, subscribe, algorithm. Yeah, I know, I hate saying it, but when I don't, it gets less likes, it gets less exposure, all the terrible things happen. So let's get into the build. One of the two new big builds this season, half season, whatever we want to call it, is Riftwalker. And while it's really powerful, it's really tricky because Jin is a four cost and you can't get the benefit of Riftwalker until you get to Jin. So uh, you run a pretty big risk if you decide that's the direction you're going to go. It's time for our first augment, and I end up getting tempted into the Earth grab bag simply because it's going to come with a spatula. Anytime I can get a spatula this early in the match, I like to take it because there's a good chance I'm going to be able to find another one down the line. Uh, right now, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be doing. I didn't definitely plan on Riftwalker, so I'm just going through and putting together the best team I feel I can. I'm thinking I want to try Renegade, so that's why I end up picking up the three Renegades. And at this point, the team is kind of doomed because I'm a little directionless. I want to try Renegades, but I don't have any two-star champions, and the Renegade buff is cute, but it ain't gonna make up for that. I got some good rolls before my next fight, and I was able to two-star, well, everyone. So that helps immensely, because at two stars, they're actually going to be able to take some damage, and then the Renegade buff can help them do more damage, and it leads to a win. So let me explain my thinking here. I'm planning Renegade, which is going to involve Viego. So I pick up Kaisa, who's a quick draw, so she'll get some benefit from it and can use the same items that I would ultimately put on Viego. So essentially, she's item holding for Viego, but also filling in as quick draw, allowing us to win. So even though we know where this game is headed, because I mentioned it earlier and it's in the thumbnail, where I was right now is just thinking about Viego items, Renegade items, and that type of thing, so I picked up a needlessly large rod. Now, oftentimes you're going to end up with games like this where you're not 100% sure what you're going to end up doing because it's going to shift along the way. But you got to make the best of what you have at the time and hope you can keep winning. So for me, everything changed in the NPC round when I picked up a Vex and decided to put the Kaisa items on Vex. I was going to grab Endless Darkness, but decided to look at what other Vex augments there were out there. But that meant hoping I get another Vex augment. So I'm rolling, nothing's fitting. Rolling, Joy Siphon, gain a Vex, and she heals your team for 22% of the damage. I am then also rewarded with a two-star Pike. So now, yeah, maybe I can go Riftwalker Renegade. I use the lesser champion duplicator to give myself a two-star Vex, and we're off to the races. And I normally would have put the Jeweled Gauntlet onto Vex, but, I'm holding the sparring glove because the spatula and sparring glove create a renegade emblem, and I might want that for later on, especially if I'm going to be going Riftwalker Renegade, since Jin is also a renegade. For item choice here, I'm thinking frontline, so I want to grab the giant's belt, because that will allow me to make a Warmogs and a Bramble Vest on Alistair. I've locked for the Jin, so while I'm not expecting to win this particular match against the person who has not lost yet, I'm hopeful for what's coming up next, because I'll be able to get Jin, which will allow me to make the Zack and get everything ready. And it's now time to do some swapping. I'm going to bring in Jin for Silas, simply because Jin will allow me to summon Zack. Now, Zack will become a Renegade. That brings us up to four Renegades. I can now make use of the Renegade Emblem and put that on Vex, turning Vex into a Renegade, giving her a lot more power. Thanks to Zack, we're now at that next tier and you can see the difference it makes. It also gives us an easy path up to seven since I have the two star Silas just kind of hanging out and we just need a Viego to get to the seven Renegade. It's time for an item choice and our final augment. I'm going to go ahead and grab the sparring glove so I can make a last whisper on Jin. Then portable forge, easy choice. Specific item, not so easy choice. Eternal winter or the rocket propelled fist could be excellent. 
Either one could work. I like the rocket propelled fist just because it allows me to really disrupt a team's backline. And especially with this team set how it is, I prefer it that way. I've locked for another gen and I'm one pike away from the gold three star pike. But you can see everything's kind of hitting on all cylinders now. I'm doing enough damage that I'm able to take things out, but the front line is tanky enough that it's able to hold other teams back. This team doesn't really have much of a chance, even though they're really, really tanky. And you can see why I love Rocket Propelled Fist, because we grabbed their carry, their vein, and got her off the board almost immediately. It allowed everyone to turn on their jacks, which is what took us out before, but now we're able to get them down before they become a major threat. And at this point, I'm just thinking about Jin items, so we're gonna go with the Infinity Edge for Jin. I can pick up a Leona, put her in, and that gives us the seven Renegades. Again, thinking Jin items, Hand of Justice will work really well here, so get those items over to Jin. Then we can three-star the Pike with our Champion Duplicator. With seven Renegades, Vex and Jin are both putting out 65% additional damage above their normal levels. So you can see what that is doing to opposing teams. Our front line is incredibly strong. Even though we haven't managed to two-star the Alistair yet, it's still holding everything in place and allowing us to win. I've been holding the Rabadon's Death Cap and Blue Buff for Viego, but he's not here yet, so I decided to give them to Lucian to hold on to them for a little while as we get ourselves into the top four. We've got our final two items to choose from, and I'd like a Viego item, well, a Lucian item, we'll call it right now, but we're still hopeful that we'll find Viego. Then for a final item, I decide to pump up the front line just a little bit more, get the locket that I can put on Pike since he is up at the gold three star level, he will get maximum shield to put on the rest of the front line. We roll a little bit and find our Viego so we are able to make the swap and put Viego in where Lucian used to be and give him the items that are most effective for him. And again, thank you to Rocket Propelled Fist for grabbing that gold three-star vein. She could have done real damage to our team if she was allowed to power up, but pulling her out of the match, well, yeah, that allowed this to be much, much easier than it otherwise would have. As you can see, their front line was pretty strong. They were able to take out a large part of our team, but we ended up winning. Thank you to the fist. And we're down to a 1v1, so we check on the other team. It is an eight brawler team with laser core, although it's only three laser cores, so that's not gonna be the problem. The problem would be, can we get through that much health? They're sacrificing their Mordekaiser, who they put in the corner. That's gonna get pulled by the rocket propelled fist, and I presume they know that. And they're hoping that their gold three-star ribbon is going to be able to carry this match for them. The nice thing about what this build is for us is that we're doing both AD and AP damage. Vex is really powerful. Jin is really powerful. Turning Vex into a Renegade, yeah, that makes it almost unbeatable. And as you can see, yep, Riven is really strong and is going to hang in there, but it's GG for everyone. Renegade Riftwalker is kind of a natural combination. Give it a try. Hope you enjoyed this video and as always have an absolutely, absolutely awesome day.